wanted to uh, thank everybody for their attention. Um, one of the things I did want to correct, I know we have a lot of uh, varieties or sources of information for the media to go to, and I apologize to those of you when you can't return your phone call uh, on the day that you would like to write a hearing or when, when someone else uh, can. Um, and I know there's strong advocacy on both sides of this issue, so, so um, it's sometimes advocacy, well, usually advocacy only means giving your side of the story, and I would expect that. And uh, I would even expect some bit of a disinformation campaign, I think. I am concerned about misinformation, which is usually the source of errors in reporter stories. It's not because they don't know, it's because someone gave them bad information. Uh, specifically, this is my concern. There's a story this weekend in the Associated Press article that said, Parents and educators opposed to the standards in Ohio were allotted three full days of hearings in mid-August to discuss the merits of replacing Common Core. Defenders of the standards were relegated to holding news conferences. Um, last week, we had uh, two days of hearings, which included 59 witnesses opposed to this bill in favor of the Common Core standards and another 65 witnesses who submitted written testimony. So uh, that's, that's important because from what I can see in the past five years, this exercise in the last three weeks has been the first airing of this issue uh, on a statewide level. I understand that there's uh, statements about what happened in, in various fora through, but that doesn't appear to be accurate, at least from my examination of the documents that are part of the House records. So um, again, if there are members of the press who would like things like that clarified, I'll try to do that personally if I can, um, or, or certainly the, the speaker's uh, staff, or Representative Thompson, I'm sure Leader Heard has um, other clarifications or perhaps the same, but um, we did have a, an extensive uh, set of testimony by the opponents of this bill last week. Um, if there's nothing else to come before the committee, Okay, we have minutes on your screen from the last two minutes, or from the last two meetings. If the uh, members would like to uh, review those. <laughs> okay, and I will set the motion to approve the minutes. And moved by uh, Representative Batchelor, Speaker Batchelor, seconded by Representative Thompson. Are there any objections to the minutes? The minutes shall be approved. There's nothing else. This time we'll stand here.